In this video, we are going to work on optimization problems. So in this first example, we are being asked to find the dimensions of a rectangle with an area of 169 square feet that also has a minimum perimeter. And so the first thing that you wanna do is to take what they have given you and write equations to represent those facts. So if we know it's a rectangle, we do not know the dimensions. So for now, I'm gonna let X be the width of the rectangle and I will let Y be the length of the rectangle. And because they told me that the area was 169 square feet, I know that X times Y is equal to 169. I also know that, or they're asking me to find, to minimize the perimeter. So if I write an equation that focuses on perimeter, perimeter is the distance around, you're gonna have two sides that have the width of X, plus you're gonna have two sides that have the length of Y, so that would be your perimeter equation. Now, the key is you're going to want to substitute um, one of the variables into the other or use substitution to actually solve the system of equations. So um, I would probably take the first equation and get the Y by itself. And so in order to do that, you would divide both sides by X. So... That would leave me with y is equal to 169 divided by x. And then I would use that to substitute into my other equation. So if my perimeter is equal to 2x plus 2 times my y value, and <clears throat> I found over here that y can be written as 169 over x, I'm going to substitute it in just like that. So now, if I go ahead and I simplify that, my perimeter can be thought of as 2x plus, if I multiply 2 times 169, I'm left with 338. And I'm going to go ahead, instead of writing it as over x, I'm going to write it as x to the negative 1 because I'm thinking one step ahead. And that is the fact that anytime you're trying to find a maximum or a minimum of something, you're dealing with derivatives. So now, in order to minimize my perimeter, I want to go ahead and find the first derivative of the perimeter. So the derivative of 2x is simply 2. And then when I derive the 338, I'm going to pull that negative 1 power to the front, so that'll make that negative 338. And when I subtract 1 off the power, that'll become x to the negative 2. Now, in order to find a maximum or a minimum, we have to set the derivative equal to 0 so we can find where that x value occurs. And so if I go ahead and I've set it equal to zero, and let me just come over here since I'm out of room there, I'm gonna just kind of come over here to the side and continue over there. And so <clears throat> basically what I have, if I move the 338, if I add it to both sides, I'm gonna also write it as instead of x to the negative 2, I'm going to write it as x squared. And so if I were to take this proportion and multiply both sides by x squared, you can think of it like that, or you can think of it as cross multiplying. We get 2x squared is equal to 338. So if I divide both sides by 2, then x squared is equal to 169. And when I square root both sides, we normally consider both the positive and negative, but it really doesn't make sense to talk about a negative in this case because we're talking about distances. And so X is equal to positive 13 would make more sense. And so if my X is equal to positive 13, and I know that X times Y has to give me 169, then if I 
plug that back in, if I come over here, my Y is 169 divided by my X, and 169 divided by 13 would tell me that my Y is 13. You could also do a test just to make sure that is a minimum value, and with your number line, make sure that when you do test points on both sides of 13, that you've got um, a function that is decreasing and then increasing, which would, of course, make it a minimum, but um, it's not necessarily required. So to answer the question, the dimensions of the rectangle are 13 by 13.